Yeah, like this new gem I'm exploring. I, I haven't ever played with tested documentation stuff, so it's something that I was looking forward to. You know, this, this was something I was looking forward to all week. I get to go do this, you know, so that was kind of hobby programming at work for me, but it's for work, right? Um, you're, so you're saying about Swagger, right? Like, I'd be interested to hear more. So Swagger is, is it a Ruby-related tool or is it a generic tool to generate documentation off REST APIs? Well, it's a generic kind of hosting type thing. Um, so it it uses now it uses the what is it called Open API 3.0, the documentation spec for for APIs, um, and it kind of turns it into pretty, right? And so you can go in and it it uh, I can't remember if Stripe uses Swagger or if. They just are very much like Swagger, but it, it does that type of documentation where you can actually go in and run the docs, you know, run run the commands, mm. run the APIs, see what they do, how to pass stuff. Uh, and it's got good uh, documentation. So I'm using a, a um, gem called RSwag that, mm -hmm. you know, generates RSpec tests for this documentation for your endpoints. And what it's supposed to do is now I can just, you know, tell it there's a rake task to gen the, the JSON for it, but it's also in part of your RSpec test suite so that you make sure your te your docs don't ever get out of sync with your actual code and it can help keep things in line. Because that's a perpetual problem, it, especially with large teams, um, you know, documentation, your, your external documentation staying in sync with how fast your code is moving is really hard to do. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard job. Like I even think, you know, I've had to maintain where you go to the markdown file, like really bare bones and update the, oh, this is what the pat, the endpoint looks like. Here's what you're putting in. Here's what you're getting out. Mm -hmm. And every time you touch that code, like you need to have the little tick, needs doc changes. And what if you mess it up? So I think, and it's something that really suits code gen. And in fact, I'll drop something here that might nerd snipe you. Um, cool. RubyConf Houston just released their talks in the last day or two. And one of the talks, so as there was from Chris Avia, or sorry, is it CJ Avia? Sorry, CJ Avia from uh, Stripe talking about documentation code gen. And he does a lot of screenshots of internal Stripe code. And, and I was like, Oh, that's cool. Did, so did you have to run that by? He's like, no, nah, I just ran with it. I'm like, oh, cool. This is like <laughs> a real sneak peek into Stripe. Because it's, it's gen, code gen, right? Um, I don't know if, you know, what he did is like, oh, I'll definitely do that. But it's really fun to see him talk through the concepts because I think they have a lot, right? I haven't yeah. actually messed with Stripe in years, but I think there's a lot for them to document in their business. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I mean, they got because they got a lot of back end stuff going on there too, and they're very heavily API driven as a company. So, you know, that's that's kind of their bread and butter is the API to the payment processing stuff. So, yeah. If you like this clip and want to watch another one, you can click right here, or if you want to watch the full video, you can click here.